Queen guitarist Brian May has announced his latest move while praising Wales, as he begins work on a new BBC documentary about bovine tuberculosis, TB. Brian May took to Instagram to hit out at the way the government in England is handling the fight against bovine TB in cattle, leading to a badger cull that he has compared to a bloodbath. The Queen Rocker revealed he is currently busy filming a documentary for the BBC, for which he visited a farm in the Gower, South Wales in a bid to search for the truth. While on his way back to England in the car, Brian wrote, and so returning home with another piece of the jigsaw puzzle. But at least hats off to Wales for looking for a humane solution. Sadly England is a bloodbath. I vow never to give up until the truth is recognised. Bree, the star concluded. Earlier in the day, Brian posed for a photo with a farmer he met in Wales, who had lost all of his cattle to the infectious disease, which can be spread by badgers. The musician told his 3.2 million followers, saying farewell for now to Vivian at his farm in the Gower, South Wales. Vivian, a very decent and caring farmer, took meticulous care of his cattle, until one day, out of the blue, the whole herd failed the SICCT skin test for bovine TB and he lost them all, along with his livelihood, and his family's whole way of life. He and his wife have fiercely fought back, as you'll see in the documentary we're making with the BBC. But in the 10 years since this happened, the situation has only got worse for cattle farmers, indicating that a massive rethink is required, focusing on transmission of the pathogen within the herd, instead of clinging to the notion that the problem in cows can be solved by messing with surrounding wildlife, and testing and removing cows using a completely unreliable skin test. It's all been a tragic mistake, and the NFU, DEFRA and governments from Cameron onwards have catastrophically failed the farmers. We dare to hope that we can help put an end to this fiasco. If we can't, all Britain's cattle farmers can look forward to his more misery. Bree. In another video from the Welsh countryside, Brian explained that he, along with the BBC, is investigating the understanding that killing badgers will reduce the spread of bovine TB in cattle. He shared, the problem got worse last year, and there are no more badgers to kill, so the realisation is dawning that badgers are not the cause of this whole thing. Brian added that, the source of reinfection is within the herd, due to, undetected, cases of the disease in cattle. It comes after the Badger Trust found that cattle spread bovine TB to other cattle in over 94% of all cases, while some of the infection arises from wildlife, and others from, unknown sources. This year marks a decade since the start of the Badger Cull in England, and Brian has been very vocal about his opposition to the government's decision, after 210,000 badgers have been killed. A spokesperson for DEFRA, the Environment Department, has said that the government's strategy has led to a significant reduction in this insidious disease. 